Hey everybody, this is another review by Dust Storm. This review is for the inflatable yard bouncer. I'm using my cell phone to record today, so I apologize if it's shaky or anything. <coughs> anyway, I've got it set up here. This uh, bouncer says not to use an extension cord. It says to plug in the fan as close as possible to the wall. That's really just not possible. So I've got this really thick, heavy duty uh, extension cord that I'm using much thicker than the actual cable itself. <clears throat> it does come with a blower. Um, it's actually a really powerful blower. It's really uh, top heavy, so I haven't yet, uh, I'm, I plan, there's actually mounting holes. I plan to mount it to some two by fours to give it some stability. I'm not gonna nail it to the ground every time. <clears throat> the bouncer does come with four plastic stakes. Uh, I live in the desert, so the ground is just super hard. These stakes I could barely get to stick in my ground, and then one of them I bent and broke in half. <clears throat> so what I did is I actually went to my local hardware store, picked up some half inch by 12 inch nails, and used some big washers, and uh, those just drove through the ground much easier. And uh, holds it a lot better. <clears throat> So uh, here it is, deflated. It's very, it's actually very heavy. Um, it's very easy to undo though. It's really windy today. It's kind of a bad day, but uh, I've had it up already and it's been working great. So let me go ahead and turn it on. It inflates pretty quickly. It's a simple on off switch here. The fan is actually pretty quiet. Uh, I've had a lot of bounce houses that we've rented. The fans are usually really loud, so this one's fairly... I mean, it, you can definitely hear it, but it's not as loud as some of the others. Have been. You don't have to do anything. It'll inflate on its own. And there you have it. Pops up. So there is a piece that can come out in the front and then the side. Pretty standard bounce house stuff here. Some Velcro. Now, this is rated at holding up to, uh, I think, 100 pounds per kid. So I weigh much more than that and it can actually support me. So obviously I'm not going to be using it all the time. It's about uh, 12 feet long, 8 foot wide, and to the tip of this, probably, I don't know, 7 feet. This is about 5 foot 9 inches right here. So, I'd say from the bottom to the top where your kid jumps, um, probably about 4 feet. So if you've got really tall kids, they're going to be bouncing over the top. There's nothing no top on it so it's it's open it deflates really quickly we can just turn it off it'll actually deflate on its own but if we want it to deflate quicker you just undo that and it pops down it pretty much folds itself you need a little bit you can tuck that in so it folds in, then you take the ramp, you fold the ramp in, and then you just roll it in sections. Super easy, you can do it by yourself, don't need any help. Uh, it's a fun bouncer, my kids love it. We got a four year old, two year old. They've been bouncing on it all morning. So far, no problems. If you have any questions, let me know by sticking them in the comments section. Thanks.